now doesn't exist. And the Andromeda Paradox proves it. Imagine this, I'm standing still and the Andromeda Galaxy, which is two and a half million layers away, isn't moving. Then you walk past me toward Andromeda at just three miles per hour. Wildly, our definitions of now at Andromeda differ by roughly four days, with your now being about four days earlier than mine. And this has crazy implications. If we somehow had a device capable of instantaneous communication and both of us called the same friend in Andromeda at the exact moment you walked past me, they would literally answer your call four days before mine from their point of view. That means that I could tell you about their future before they knew it happened. In fact, this forms the basis for the tachyonic anti-telephone, but that's a different story. This apparent causality-breaking paradox is actually a direct consequence of the constancy of the speed of light regardless of who's measuring it. This notion that two different events can be simultaneous in one reference frame but not in another is called relativity of simultaneity, and it's what's responsible for the Andromeda paradox. You walking past me is simultaneous with event X in Andromeda, while from your perspective, event X won't happen for another four days. This might seem wild, but with the right thought experiment, it's pretty intuitive, so let's do it. Imagine two people. Alice stands beside a train track just as Bob passes by on the train. Just as Bob passes Alice, lightning strikes the front and back of the train simultaneously from Alice's viewpoint. And she knows this because she sees both flashes arrive at the same time. Since the distances traveled are equal, she concludes the lightning bolts struck simultaneously. But what about Bob? From Alice's perspective, Bob is moving toward the front strike and away from the back one, meaning Bob should see the front flash first. But here's the catch. Everyone measures the same speed of light. So if Bob sees the front flash first, it means that from Bob's perspective, the front lightning strike genuinely occurred first, not simultaneously. And just as a consistency check, from Bob's perspective, Alice is moving backward. Since the front strike happens first, according to Bob, its light has more time to reach the backward moving Alice exactly when the back strike does. So then who is right about the order of the lightning bolts? Well, both of them. Whether two spatially separated events happen simultaneously or not isn't universal, it's personal. So if now is simply the set of points in spacetime simultaneous with each other, then no two distinct observers can truly agree on what now is. In other words, now doesn't objectively exist.